like we're live. Um, what's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flipping Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. Y'all already know that. But um, yeah, doing another live stream today. I uh, just got back from the thrift stores, found a bunch of shoes, and uh, we're going to clean some up. Uh, I got like five pairs to clean up or whatnot. But um, yeah, just want to jump on a live stream, kill two birds with one stone, get these things cleaned up to uh, sell on eBay, as well as catching up with you guys, seeing what's going on in your lives, how eBay has been going for y'all. So um, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, let me know in the chat. And uh, if you're watching the replay of this, also feel free to leave a comment, you know, down below and uh, I will get back to you. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about, though, if you follow me on Instagram, um, flipping underscore profit, you probably saw me post a picture of these, these ugly looking shoes right here. And I was saying, did I just find Bape in the thrift store? Um, I don't know if y'all can see that camera's kind of bugging out a little bit but so yeah these look like bape shoes and they say bapesta on the tongue here if you don't know about bape it's uh it's like a brand and um so i wanted to know if these were real and uh, after coming home and doing some more research found out that they're not these are some fake bapestas but luckily I only paid three bucks and before you ask when i was in the thrift store i wasn't getting very very good sale reception and it was like the last thing i found i was ready to run out anyways uh so i only paid three bucks for these and the you know took the risk not knowing if they were real or not but um like i said after getting home doing some research i found out that yes these are pretty fake and the giveaway is the star design right here as well as the the way it's designed in the back if you know anything about these or if you don't and you find some like these it was pretty easy for me to go on google um it took a few different links to go through to find like a, a forum with a um how to tell if bape shoes are fake guide and eventually i got to this style i think it was like um uh, realstas or something like that the the style name that these fakes are copying and yeah some uh, another thing was that inside this little bubble it said that Bape, real Bape never puts camo inside there or rarely does, but always the fakes always have fake camo or um, always put camo in this bubble down here. So, yeah, a little bummed out that they weren't real. If uh, I know a lot of people are looking at these thinking these are ugly shoes, who would buy these? But if these would have been authentic, they could have been worth like 100, 150. Some are even going for like 200 bucks pre-owned. So. There's a good reason why I got excited and uh, was willing to go ahead and pay three bucks for them without knowing if they were real or not. And I've also never even come across this brand um, real or fake. So when I saw these, even though they were fake and now I know that they were fake, uh, I just got excited and uh, I didn't know how to tell if they were fake or not, you know, three hours ago. But um, like I said, didn't have any cell reception, came home, Googled the stuff. And uh, yeah, turns out they're fake, but that's all right. We uh, didn't spend too much money. And man, I think the risk was worth it because if they would have been real, like I said, could have been potentially a couple hundred bucks. But um, so yeah, let's just get those out of the way. So next thrift store I went to, I did find these five pairs of shoes. Um, I actually found six pairs, but I think I might keep a pair for myself. Some uh. There were two pairs of Nike running shoes, these black ones, and then there's some gray ones. I think I'm going to keep the gray ones for myself. But yeah, these are the Nike Zoom Windflow 5. I don't know if y'all can see that. The exposure from my lighting is like really messing with this camera. I'm going to have to fix that. But they're really not in bad shape at all. Um, looks like, yeah, you can definitely tell in the camera. They look a little dusty on the mesh part. But um, this white sole right here is very clean to be white. It shouldn't take anything to get that cleaned up. So um, normally when I'm cleaning shoes, uh, I do it on this table over here. But I wanted to be able to interact with you guys on the live stream. So I'm um, doing it right here in front of the camera. I got me my, oh, real quick. I did stop at the Dollar Tree. We got the Dollar Tree OxyClean. We're going to try it out today. I've never used this brand before. I usually use the regular OxyClean. 
And um, I also got the Dollar Tree magic erasers. Um, I've been putting a lot of people on to use the magic erasers for uh, like the white soles of the shoes. It's a, or even white leather sometimes it works really good. Um, but usually I just mix up Dawn and uh, water, like in this little tub right here, make me a little soapy mixture and use that to, um, and I also have this little fingernail brush. I use that mixture, mix it up, get my brush a little wet, and then like, you know, rub it on the mesh part, and it gets things cleaned up. So this time though, I put some uh, some of that Dollar Tree OxyClean in there, and we'll see how it works. I don't know. Most of the time when I see people use this, they like, they have a brush and some water like I do, but they take the um, OxyClean powder and they just like straight up pour it on the mesh these aren't really that dirty so i don't think we'll need to worry about that so uh but either way what i'm trying to get at is i don't know how good this is going to work for the way i'm trying to use it i might have been better off just using what i normally do with the dawn and water mix but we're going to try it out so I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and uh just run it across the mesh here and yes yeah, the already this oxyclean's got like some granules in it or whatever and so they're falling out in the shoe but that's all right we'll see how it works well, let's go to the chat real quick we got thrift bcq in here what's up good sir are you able to exchange it um i don't know i should probably go back and see um to be honest though i find i, I wouldn't be mad if i can't like i that thrift store i find tons of great stuff so wouldn't be that upset What's going on with you today, though, Chris? Getting some uh, thrifting done and eBay stuff done in Canada. If uh, if anybody's watching this and you guys are, aren't already subscribed to uh, Thrift BCQ, definitely go check out his channel. Chris is an awesome guy. We also did an interview. He interviewed me on his channel a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah, if you want to watch that, definitely go check out his channel and check out that video. Show some love to the eBay community the ebay youtube and community hey i will say this stuff smells pretty good just oxyclean but yeah these are uh these are probably the cleanest ones out of all the shoes that i picked up today so it shouldn't be too much to clean these up not even going to worry about the laces i'll run my brush along this sole a little bit and then I'm gonna take the magic eraser and hit the uh, the white part of that sole right there I'm trying to do this where you guys can see me working but um yeah y'all let me know how it's going the, does the uh, is the sound annoying my microphone's right here <laughs> hmm. oh I like how the Inside sole, midsole is black, but on the outside, it's white. These are pretty cool shoes. They're my size, too. I might want to keep these as well. All right, I got those scrubbed up pretty good. Let me wipe off this excess water. Yeah, see that OxyClean? There's a few of these uh, thick little white granules in there i'll have to make sure and get a, a clean brush and get those out if they stay stuck in there it looks like i got them all out though so yeah that's that now let's take the magic eraser and hit this white part yeah this thing this dollar magic eraser seems to work just as good as the regular ones they clean that up real nice. Oh, I'm dripping water on me. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Reseller King says hello. What's going on, Reseller King? Everybody say hey. What's up to Reseller King? How's it going today? Y'all having some good eBay sales? Any good finds or anything? Oh, another thing? Mostly all the soles, the bottoms of the shoes were already very clean too. So I don't have to worry about that, which is awesome. But there we go. That's one of them down. I mean, that thing, there really wasn't much to clean on it. 
It had a little bit of a dusty haze on the mesh, but I'm pretty sure we just cleaned that up. And then the white midsole was a little bit dirty. Like I say, sorry for the exposure. The light exposure is making it really hard for my camera to pick up on the details on this white color, but looking pretty clean. Thrift BCQ says, I tried doing some thrifting earlier today, but all the stuff was way too overpriced. So I just went home and just listed more stuff. <laughs> yeah, it seems to happen sometimes. Hey, and if you got stuff at home to list, it's never a, it's never a bad thing to take a day off from sourcing and get all that stuff listed. Thrift BCQ says, hi to Reseller King. He also said, I need to check my Dollar Tree too for that stuff. Yeah, I had no... Uh, never used it for before i watched um drew over at profit monsters uh shoe cleaning video where he used nothing but the dollar tree products i thought that was a really cool video too i wish i would have thought of that but um and yeah he cleaned up some nike uh harachas i think you call them he cleaned them up pretty good so i wanted to try it for myself because yeah if you can get the this package of OxyClean is definitely not as big as, you know, the ones, the original OxyClean box, but you're only paying a dollar for this. So if this stuff works just as good as the regular stuff, then I'll be excited for it. I, um, I've used regular OxyClean plenty of times to, uh, you know, get stains out of clothes and stuff. And that stuff works great. So I got some clothes I need to get clean too. have the little grease stains in them. So I'll try this Dollar Tree OxyClean and uh, hopefully it works just as good. Cherie Hicks. What's going on, Cherie? I use Shout, Triple Action, and Magic Eraser on all my shoes. Make even the dingy, dingest look good. Dingiest look good. Sorry, I'm horrible at reading. A little dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, Shout, Triple Action. Huh. I'll have to uh, look at that. Nashville Flippers. What's up, Nashville Flippers? Nashville Flippers says, what's good? If you guys aren't already... Uh, subscribe to Nashville Flippers and uh, haven't checked out their channel, definitely go do so. Um, and we also did, he interviewed me, Ray from Nashville Flippers interviewed me last Sunday. So if you guys want to go check that out, definitely go uh, show some love and uh, always show the YouTube, eBay community some support. We appreciate it. Nashville Flipper says, what we doing? Um, cleaning some shoes, man. I know you checked out my Instagram earlier. Um, oh, I already went over this a second ago, but man, Ray, the vapes are fake. <laughs> I, uh, I had bad cell reception inside the store and I went ahead and said I was super excited. So I said, screw it, paid three bucks and uh, grabbed these when I was walking out. Um, but after coming home, doing some research, looking at some uh, fake vape guides. Yeah, these are straight up fakes, but that's cool. It's all good. It was fun, you know. For, for the moment that it lasted. It got me all amped and excited for the day. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Thrift BCQ says, great interview. You ain't never lied. Cherie says, best stuff out there. The um, Shout Triple Action. We'll have to try that out. Like I say, I'm, I was kind of already stuck in my way just using dawn and water to uh, clean up like the mesh part of shoes and then the magic eraser for the soles that always works good dang fake how do you know i uh i googled up um you know how to tell if vape shoes are fake and it only took me you know about three or four clicks to find a good uh guide and it had pictures and everything showing you the real vapes and how the um like what the star looks like on the side and, um, and then it showed you the fakes. And so this star, the way it's designed up here, it doesn't, it doesn't line up the right way. And also the stitching back here, see how big this gap is. It's not supposed to be like that. Um, another one was that the trademark circle, I don't know if y'all can see that there's the circle for like the trademark. It's not supposed to be touching the, uh, Oh, let me put some shadow on there. Uh -oh, okay. That's, I'm just flipping y'all off. Um, it's not supposed to be touching the B, but it is. So, and the, um, what do you call that? The bubble back here. It's, uh, they rarely put camo inside the bubble. It's usually a solid color, but all the fakes always put some camo in there. And you can see the vape blue and light blue camo. So, yep, yeah, they're fake, but it's all good. 
I'm gonna grab this other Nike and start cleaning on it. Jason Marks is a great show cleaner, is what I use for my personal shoes. Huh, Jason Marks. Oh, great shoe cleaner, is what you mean? Is that like a brand? So like a specific kind of cleaning agent or something? Hey, y'all let me know if this brushing is too loud because my microphone is like right here. Like if I'm brushing like this and I'm talking, can you still hear me good? So yeah, I got six pairs of shoes that are real shoes, no fake vapes, uh, from the thrift store today, paid three bucks a piece. And uh, we got some good ones, some Nikes, some Pumas, and also some Adidas Boost. So pretty good deal. Um, I feel like the Adidas are going to be the most profitable ones, but I don't know. When I looked up the, the Puma brand, it's uh, Puma golf shoes. They're called Puma Ignite, I think is the style. There were plenty of them going for like 45 plus shipping. So I don't know. I didn't even look up the Adidas Boost shoes. If I saw Adidas Boost and they're in really good condition like they are, and they are right here. These are these are decent condition. I actually put these on to uh, see how they fit. They're a little bit big, but um <laughs> But yeah, I didn't even look those up. I know those are going to be worth something. Nashville Flipper says, "Yes, it's a brand." You should sell them on Facebook. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll put them up there. Make sure it says that they're fake bait. See what happens. And he says, we can hear you. All right. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate y'all checking out the stream. And like I said, if anybody didn't get to check the live stream, I appreciate you watching the replay. And if you have any comments or questions, concerns, anything like that, let me know down in the comments. What's been going on with you today, Ray? You at work? You been getting any listing done? This stuff works pretty good. It smells good, too. All right. Wipe off some of this excess water. Excess water. Water. Yeah, these are definitely by far the cleanest ones. Even the um, graphic on the inside of the shoe is uh, barely worn. So, yeah, these are turning out great. Wipe off this insole with this magic eraser real quick, and these will be done. Let these dry off and get these listed later. Sweet. All right, let's do the Adidas Boost next. Um, not sure what that is, what kind of texture that is. I don't know if I should hit that with the brush. Yeah, I'm not going to hit that with the brush. I do have a microfiber, microfiber towel. And I'm just using like some <laughs> a window cleaner. For those who don't know, Windex and window cleaner is also a surface cleaner. I've seen people like use Windex for like cleaning tables and other people give them crap. Like, you know, that's for cleaning windows, right? But no, it's a surface cleaner. You can clean lots of stuff with it. But yeah, see, I'm just using a little damp microfiber towel to wipe off this, uh, the toe cap of this shoe. Cause I'm not sure what texture, I don't want to rough up this texture. It's nice and smooth and soft. And this works just fine. Thrift BCQ, you got a nice haul of shoes. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, like I said, too, if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I know Thrift BCQ and Ray does. They definitely saw my post this morning where I showed off all the shoes I've been finding. But um, if you want to follow my Instagram, it's uh, flippin underscore profit, F-L-I-P-P-I-N underscore P-R-O-F-I-T. No apostrophe in that name. All right. 
let's uh, scrub on these midsoles a little bit here. Let me try to show y'all the texture and the dirt. Yeah, see, there's just too much exposure. I think it's too much light coming from up top. You like some shadow, and yeah, you can see the texture a little bit. It's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to get that work on that. That's got to be one of the hardest things when uh, starting a YouTube channel is figuring out lighting and you know camera angles and stuff like that, or just you know camera settings so that you don't have too much exposure, like I do right now. But yeah. Hey, the struggle is real. Nobody said it was going to be easy. <laughs> so, yeah, since that the rear part of this uh, midsole is kind of textured, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush and try to get most of that dirt out. And then we'll hit it with the magic eraser. Literally just shot some of that in my eye. That's great. Yeah, this was a really nice shoe haul, man. They're not that dirty. They're not too worn. Should do really good. What did I say? Six times three was 18 bucks. It was like 20 something after tax. But um, yeah, that's awesome. Hope everybody else is finding some good stuff out there today. Huh, we've got a small spot up here, a little streak. Let me try to, okay. Yep, well, I'm not going to be able to show y'all. But yeah, a little small streak. I can't really get that out. I don't know if I should just keep hitting it with this magic eraser. Yeah, it's in there a little deep. I don't know if I'll be able to get this out. Huh. We got some of it up. Let me just keep trying. Sometimes you keep that momentum going, keep that scrubbing going, and you start building that friction up and getting that heat going, and that really helps lift up certain marks and stains. Yeah, it is coming out. Let me just keep doing that. Turn your uh, turn your magic eraser over, get another clean spot, and go at it again. It's literally like sanding something, making sure you guys can see. Yeah, there's a little spot right across the uh, the bottom sole. Kind of like a black scuff mark. But uh, it's slowly coming out. Uh oh, leaking water everywhere. We got the Jarhead Entrepreneur. What's up, man? He said, what's up, brother? Y'all say hey to uh, Jarhead Entrepreneur. I'm heading down to the outlet mall to hit up the Nike and Adidas outlets this weekend. Wow. Um, I actually have a Nike outlet like an hour and a half for me, and I didn't know until recently. So I've been contemplating, is it worth uh, going to check out? I feel like most of the people, you know, you got to go there and find the clearance stuff, right? I think the only person I've really seen on YouTube uh, that does that is uh, Reezy Resales. I saw a few of his videos where he was buying tons of Nikes from the outlet store. <laughs> the Jarhead Entrepreneur waiting on Uber trip right now. You getting that uh, that Uber pool? <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, go buy like 40 pairs of shoes with the you know new with the box and then call for an uber pool <laughs> have like three other people in the car and you're trying to stack it you're like hey can you hold this for me here put these in your lap i don't know you might you might leave the store with 40 and only come home with 20 so i don't know if that's very smart yeah i got i got most of that uh scuff mark up with the uh magic eraser there's still like one small spot we'll come back to that later but these things are looking clean. I don't think I'm going to get this uh, back part of the midsole much cleaner either. Since it's textured and I did hit it with the brush, I think that's the best it's going to do. It looks good. 
Let that mug clean up. I mean, dry off. It'll look good. All right. Let's go on to the next one. A lot of these, too, I don't really need to mess with the laces. A lot of times when they're dark laces like this, they're kind of gray. Yeah, as long as there's no ugly, like, red dirt stains on them or nothing, you don't really need to worry about cleaning them. But I do have... Yeah, we have some Pumas over there, some white leather Pumas with some white laces. I'm going to have to take those out. Let me see if I can show y'all again. Okay. Yeah, doesn't want to come up. It just show. Oh, there it is. See how it's textured and kind of dirty? So, yeah, the magic eraser wasn't really doing much because of that texture. But the brush set into it pretty good. And that's really... Out of the uh, on these Adidas boots, it's probably the hardest, toughest part to clean up, but um, ain't nothing to it. Let me wipe down the top parts of the shoes. Like I said, I don't really want to use a brush on this uh, texture, this fabric, whatever this is, this material that they got on here since it's nice and smooth. Wouldn't want to rough that up with the brush. The jarhead entrepreneur. I'm an Uber driver. Laugh out loud. Oh, okay. Nashville Flipper says our outlet sucks. Yeah, Adidas has an additional 50% off sale store wide going. Plus, they give me another 20% military discount. So it's nice. Yeah, that's awesome. You deserve it, my man. The boost is hard to clean. That boost? Got to keep, keep that boost clean, son. Are your boots clean though? Jeff, what's on your shirt? Um, this is uh, the Scotty Kramer YouTube channel. Uh, he's a BMXer. Um, this is his friend Big Boy who uh, just uh, broke his back and it says hashtag spinal. He didn't really break his back. He was trying to grind, fell backwards, flat on his back. And it's a spinal shirt. So yeah, you know, I'm, I love motocross, love BMX and stuff. That's one of my favorite channels. It's the Scotty, uh, Scotty Kramer channel. He was a professional BMX rider. And about two years ago, he had a really bad accident. It's all documented on his YouTube channel. And um, yeah, he, um, I don't know, it almost paralyzed him. Um, he had like a brain hemorrhage. And um, what else? Yeah, he had a spinal injury, um, like a few, what's it called? Like the spinal nerves or something like detached and crap like it was really bad but um he had surgery everything was looking good and like during his recovery after surgery like hours after surgery he just blacked out again and his parent you know his parents and sister and wife were freaking out and he had another brain hemorrhage and so he had to go into surgery again they had to remove um a part of his skull so that it would relieve pressure on his brain but miraculously the dude is alive he's breathing he's been rehabilitating himself for years now and he's actually like riding his bike again it's like it's man it's the most inspiring thing i like have in my life right now i love watching that channel i love to see his growth and um if you go back uh he he, he had the youtube channel going before his accident you can see how good he was. The dude was amazing on a BMX bike. So really sad to see, you know, when that stuff happens. But I mean, it happens and that's what they sign up for. And it's crazy. Even still, after all that, he, he drives his mom and his wife and stuff crazy when he's still, you know, trying to get back on the bike. He's not going to. That's what he does. You know, that's what he lives for. So he's not scared to get back on it. And um, like I said, he's been rehabilitating himself trying to get to riding good and uh yeah just a real inspiring thing but that's what the t-shirt is gotta get these boots clean yeah this brush is working good though i'd say this oxyclean mix is uh doing pretty good too just as good as the dawn soap i guess the soapy water mix that i usually use Cleaning up pretty good. Thrift of Life, what up, my guy? What's going on, man? Everybody say hey to Thrift of Life. 
Anna Mora, hello everyone. Everybody say hey to Anna. First time here. Well, thanks for joining. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. We're just uh, cleaning up some shoes today that I picked up from the thrift store to resell on eBay and uh, just talking eBay. If you got any questions or anything, let me know in the chat. Nashville Flippers says, wow. Yeah, you must be talking about the Scotty Kramer stuff. Anna's giving a wave. These are looking clean. I need to get this boost side. Got to get that boost clean. I'm trying to make sure I hold this up high enough for you guys to see it. Like I said, usually I clean up my shoes back there on that table, but I got to be able to talk to you guys. I think that's good enough. Or good as it's going to get. Now we'll hit it with the magic eraser. There's a small little spot. Let me wait a minute. Maybe the camera will focus in on it. But there's a small little scuff spot right there. Okay, it's not wanting to focus. Yep. Too much white. It's making it, you know, the exposure goes up. But yeah, I wish I would have shown that because now it's gone so easily with the magic eraser. It works great for white shoes, man. Really gets those uh, scuff marks, any dirt marks out. Works good with leather. I feel like when the Magic Eraser, that was the big advertising push, wasn't it? The big market scheme was that uh, you use these for like your leather seats in cars when your kids use your use permanent markers on it and stuff. Or permanent markers on the walls and the counters. The Magic Eraser, go clean it off. So, yeah, I wasn't scared to try it on some leather shoes, and it works great. All right, these look pretty clean. Got the boost cleaned up. Midsoles are cleaned up. Tops are looking fresh. Which ones are next? Let's clean up these other these black Pumas. So these are Puma Ignite golf shoes. The midsoles on these, I don't know if those were supposed to be white or gray or what. Y'all can see those pretty good. Cool. But, yeah, they show, I don't know. I feel like they're not supposed to, I don't know. They probably have their own weird color to them. I don't think it's supposed to be white. Maybe like a gray or something. But, yeah, when I looked these up, there were comps for this uh, style shoe selling for like 45 plus shipping. So, I have these black ones and some white ones back there. We'll look at those in a second. I've been saving dir the dirtiest ones for last. I also have some Skechers Go Golf shoes. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to those in a minute. You know what? Let me touch the tops of these first with the micro microfiber towel and a little bit of Windex. My surface cleaner. Um, we got people saying hello. Windex with the magic eraser does great, also. A clean boost is a happy boost. Laugh out loud. Any YouTube advice? Just started a channel. Um, persistence, thrift of life. Yeah. Uh, biggest advice for me it would be do your research on keywords and keyword phrases. I don't know if you saw the um, interview I did with the Nashville Flippers last Sunday, but we touched on that a little bit. And um, basically what I'm saying is in your tags, when you create uh, a video and you're making the, um, what's it called? The upload page. I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, you know, the description and all that. The part where there's tags, you want to have good tags. And then you also like um, go look back on some of my videos, go look in the description at the bottom. You'll see where I'll put tags and then I copy and paste all the tags in the description as well. Um, what that does is it helps the algorithm put your name with those categories like, you know, how to sell on eBay. Um, and eventually, once you have so many, so many videos with the same kind of tags and stuff. Uh, if you're doing an eBay channel, then 
you, you'll most likely be using most of the same tags over and over again. But what happens is the algorithm eventually kind of sees your name as the authority over those keyword phrases if you're using them correctly and using them a lot. And if you're getting views, you know, if your stuff, if you uh, start getting views to it. So best advice I would say is, yeah, work on the keyword phrases. Um, how to sell on eBay is the most searched for key phrase with the word eBay in it. And then there's a lot more, there's a lot more variations after that, like how to sell on eBay for beginners, how to sell on eBay step by step, how to sell on eBay for beginners step by step how to sell on eBay 2019, how to sell on eBay 2020 is coming up. All those, I know it sounds repetitive, but all those are tags. How to sell on eBay, comma, that's a tag. How to sell on eBay for beginners, that's a whole nother tag. If you put in phrases for when you're starting out, it's easier for the algorithm to pick up um, who to put your video in front of, you know, and eventually, uh it, it starts working it works pretty good i've got a few videos that if you search for search search for right now on youtube how to how to sell on ebay for beginners step by step and you'll see probably about three or four of my videos within the top 20 uh ranks and that's just because i use those keywords and phrases a lot also i i was given the tip by some uh, uh vid iq if you know who they are um they gave me a tip to um use that since how to sell on eBay is the most searched for keyword phrase, put that in my title. And if you go back uh, a lot of my videos, that's how I used to title all of them. And, and just till recently, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I stopped doing that just because, or I stopped using them so frequently because it, I feel like it does kind of confuse my, uh, my, um, my subscribers because they see the same title over and over again, almost. But once again, like I said, when you're new, what that does is it helps the algorithm put your name with those uh, keyword phrases and, you know, kind of gives you authority over that. So hope that helps you out. Like I say, for me, um, you know, I started this YouTube channel back in February and, you know, within like six months, I already got over a thousand subscribers, not bragging or anything. A lot of people have done way more than that. But and there's, you know, plenty that, uh, uh, you know give me appreciation or show their appreciation for how much I've gained in such little time or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's, that was what I was mostly focused on is keywords and keyword phrases. And, uh, like I said, if you go back and look at all my titles, most of them are like very similar, very small, different variations. So eventually when people search for how to sell on eBay, step-by-step step for beginners or whatever, they start seeing a lot of my videos. Either way, started rambling there for a little bit. Hope that hope that answers your question. Sometimes I get off track. I feel like I'm talking about three or four different things at once. I mean, it, it's complicated, you know, just like eBay sometimes. It's not, it's not so cut and dry. It's super complex the way things work. And uh, it can be hard to explain or hard to teach, you know, that's what's uh, that's why I think the eBay YouTube channels, that's why there's so many of them, because people see that, that um, everybody's got their own way of learning and everybody's got their own way of teaching. And, you know, hey, somebody's got to learn somehow. Am I making any sense? Why do I talk? All right. These are looking pretty clean. Just hit the tops, the leather parts, and this fabric part with the microfiber towel with the Windex. Um, some of the, whoops, sorry guys, hit the mic. Some of the midsole cleaned up a little bit. I'm not sure how these are going to work though. Let's see. Got my magic eraser. Is anything going to come off? I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's rubbing off. I'm not sure uh, how much to expect from this. Huh. I don't know. It seems to be getting some of it off. I mean, it's showing up on the Magic Eraser. It's looking pretty dirty. But um, let's see. 
yeah, I guess it is starting to wear some of that off. Like I say, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure what this original color was. It definitely wasn't white. Maybe a grayish kind of yellow pearl tone or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's going to be difficult to clean up. Might just have to sell them like they are. I did, like I said, when I looked up comps, I did find some just like these. And their soles, their midsoles looked pretty, pretty similar to mine. These are golfing shoes. So I imagine this is part of that, like, you know, grass dew and stuff that rubs off on your midsoles and kind of keeps them a nasty looking color. Thrift of Life said, solid gold tips. Thank you for such a long, detailed response. No problem, man. Hey, not too many people ask about YouTube. And um, to be honest, like that is, I'm super passionate about YouTube, just as passionate about it as I am for eBay. So, yeah, anytime, any questions, man, just let me know. Jarhead Entrepreneur says, you're in Texas, right? Close, Louisiana. I, um, I've um i been going to Texas a lot recently. We've been doing some, uh, some work trips, but... Um, yeah, Louisiana is where I'm at. In the boot. No, I don't really watch football or anything before you <laughs> come with any sports references. Just a, you know, forewarning. Big motocross fan, though. If anybody catch the uh, Red Bull Straight Rhythm this past weekend, it was awesome. Old Kenny Roxon came back. Uh, for the win, I said came back. He didn't really go anywhere. All right, that's all I'm gonna mess with right now. I need to hit it a little bit more with the magic eraser, but my thing's getting really dirty, and I don't want to leave to have to go rinse it off in the sink. So let's see. Comparison: here's the dirty midsole. Here's the cleaner one. And my lighting isn't gonna allow you to see it very much, but it cleaned it up pretty decently cleaned it up a little bit it definitely looks better you know it'll be uh more desirable to sell like that so let me grab these white pumas real quick so yeah here we have some white puma ignite golfing shoes um these are a lot more a lot more detail to them they're white leather and then they have like this i don't know this gray part, like this second midsection of it. Got a little dirt spot right there. We'll have to scrub on that pretty good. Um, they still have the little, I'm not sure what you call it, them little golfing claws or whatever. I need to get me the little tool uh, to pull these out. Because, yeah, I don't see anyone reusing these. Some of the pegs on them are broken off and stuff. So be cheaper to ship, too. Be lighter. Need to get that tool, man. Got to cut out that weight. Yeah, these are pretty clean. And yes, they say they're the same Ignite, same style as these black ones, but they do look a little bit different. Just a little bit more detail to them. I'm oh, sorry. Wasn't holding it up that good. I don't know. Just a little bit more detail on the tongue and stuff. So I'm just going to hit this uh, top part with the magic eraser. My clean side of the magic eraser. Nashville flippers, jarhead. What about your cowgirls? <laughs> oh, I'll be back in Texas next summer. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, see, I don't um not that I've had anybody throw any sports references at me that much, but yeah, I've been waiting on it. I know there's lots of Everyone follows football and stuff, seems like. But I'm one of the few that really doesn't. I don't know. Never really got into it. I was always into racing. When I grew up, my dad was always watching NASCAR. So I was into motors and, and racing them. Never really got into the team sports stuff. Maybe that's why I'm so introverted. <laughs> But either way, hey, if y'all are still watching the live stream, make sure y'all hit that like button. 
if uh, if you're watching the replay, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Any questions you got? Also, um, shout out to all the uh, other eBay YouTubers. Go check out Thrift BCQ, the Nashville Flippers, Jarhead Entrepreneur, Thrift of Life. Go check out their channel. Show them some love. These aren't cleaning up as easy as I thought they would. They kind of got some texture right here. It seems like there are uh, some ridges, small little bubble type ridges, and a um, little bit discolored inside the ridge, and I can't seem to get my sponge in there. Or maybe they're meant to be a little bit colored, because it looks like that on this other side too, kind of like a pearl on the inside. Yeah, I think that's the way they're supposed to be. Gives them a little texture, a little bit of uh, depth. I don't know. Either way, if they're supposed to be like that, they're not supposed to be. They look good as they are right now. So we're going to move on. Yeah, these things are uh, a lot more little nooks and crannies. Trying to get that dirt line out of there. Let me get this brush on it. Nashville flippers will be all right. <laughs> I mean, we ain't in last like y'all are. Oh, we got some shade thrown in the chat. <laughs> Let me go get the get my ref whistle. Have to blow the whistle on y'all. Split y'all up. Y'all go sit in, you know, different corners or something. I don't know. Penalty. What's it called? The uh, what's it called in hockey? The penalty box. Put y'all in the penalty box, bro. If y'all don't calm down. Got a little uh, scuff mark on the part of the midsole right there too. Man, this lighting. It's really, really bumming me out. Like, what, 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 what are we looking at? What kind of shoe is this? Is this a space shoe? What's going on? What kind of Hollywood effects is happening right now? There it is. Whoa, you see it now? Okay. Got that little scuff right, right there. I feel like that's going to, um, it's not going to really come out. It's deep in there. Yeah, it's a deep scuff mark. So I rubbed away the paint and the uh, part of the actual midsole itself Nashville flipper says it's tough jarhead entrepreneurs laughing at him let me check my phone real quick 148 hmm been going for about 50 minutes now you guys I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the stream the uh, the support for the streams has been awesome. I've been uh, keeping an eye on the watch time and stuff. I, if you anybody that pays attention to my channel has noticed, I've been doing a lot more live streams and really haven't been uploading as many edited videos. Mostly just because after I started live streaming, I realized how how much easier it is, less time consuming, and it's been allowing me to get caught up on some other stuff. You know. Because for a second there, I was contemplating going to one video a week. I like to upload two. Just try to keep the channel relevant and uh, give plenty of content, trying to grow it, you know, as fast as I can. But um, after I started streaming, I realized doing one stream and maybe one edited video, that that's just as easy as doing one video a week. So gives you guys some content, something to watch, hopefully some motivation and, you know, Something to uh, play in the background while you're doing eBay work. And it helps out my channel. Gets me some views. Helps this thing grow. I feel like I've also been getting, trying to be a little more open and stuff on the live streams. I mean, you know, as the questions come in, as the opportunity of, you know, people talking to me and asking me certain questions, you get to know me a little better. And I get to know you guys a little better. To 
Did that get weird a second ago? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, Ray, get back to work, man. Just kidding, bro. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this little spot off. <clears throat> I scrubbed on it pretty good, and it felt like I was putting a little bit of a... doing some wear to the fabric, but it wasn't removing the stain, so... Trying to just kind of lightly scrub it instead of a hard scrub. You know what? It's coming out though. Yeah, that mug's gone. A little bit showing. Barely though. Barely. Huh, we got some dirt laying back here. Y'all can't see that, sorry. It's back behind this little tongue, or this little flat for the heel part. Nashville Flipper says, you need that hog brush. What kind of, what, what the hell is a hog brush, bro? Is it a brush for brushing hogs? Is that what we're doing? That's what this stream has turned into? The brush hog stream? All right, let's take these laces out. I say it cleaned up pretty good, though. It's looking clean now. You guys can't tell. It really looks like a freaking UFO flying through the room. Um, But, yeah, they cleaned up pretty good. White shoes definitely always going to have some, you know, show that dirt a little better. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take these laces out. Let me hold that up to the stream really quick. Get that picture just in case I forget how the laces go. Because, yeah, these are definitely dirty. They might clean up a little bit better if I set them in some bleach. Or, you know what? I'm going to set them in the OxyClean and see how that works first. But um, I'll probably do that off camera. I don't have that stuff right now. So just letting you all know if you all were expecting me to do that right now. I'm not going to do that. I'm just taking these laces out really quick. To be honest, I really don't even need to be doing that. Go on to some other shoes to uh, keep this stream going. I was just going to do it for an hour, but I mean, hey, we'll let it go. Huh. Nashville Flipper says the hog bristle brush. Huh. I don't want to tear him up that bad, dude. A bristle brush? What are we doing? Got this little leather thing on there, too. But, yeah, take those strings out, and then I'll put those in some bleach later. I need to hit this now. Yeah, there was some dirt down in here hiding under those laces. I guess you always do want to take the laces off, make sure there's not any nastiness going on underneath there. It might be hiding from you. Whoopsie. Didn't realize this little tab was made of leather. I think it is. I kind of got it really wet. That's not good. It'll be all right. I'll cover it up with the laces. No. <laughs> It'll be okay. Try to get in there without hitting that leather part this time. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I feel like I'm just spreading more dirt around. Yeah, because I can't really touch this part without hitting that leather. Sorry, I'm supposed to be making sure you guys can see this, but whenever it's uh, kind of tough to get to, it's hard for me to hold it up. 
and show you guys. But yep, there goes the white pumas. I don't know, I only cleaned one, but let's move this on. Last pair of shoes we got here are these Skechers Go Golf. I've picked up the Skechers Go Go Walk shoes for women. Plenty of those before. And they sell pretty pretty good. Um, so yeah, Skechers Go Golf. I looked these up, and the comps were showing around 40, 30, 30 plus shipping. So I always do free shipping. So for me, around like forty bucks. White leather too. Laces are gray, so no need to pull those out. But we do need to hit up around here a little bit, get that cleaned up, pull that down and get up in there. And then it's got these uh, little ridges here where the midsole meets the top of the shoe. Got some little dirt down in there and stuff. We'll have to hit that with the brush. But yeah, all of these shoes were size 12 and the... Uh, most of them are golfing shoes, so for sure these had to come from the from the same person, you know. I hope they didn't die or something. I don't know. It might be crazy to hear somebody say, you know, who's a reseller, but to be honest, that's where a lot of the stuff comes from. If you go to estate sales, that's for sure where it came from. That worked pretty good though. It is like a um a gray. If you guys can see it is yeah, see, cleaned it up pretty good in there. Got that dirt out. But um yeah, it's not supposed to be white, it's supposed to be like a gray, same color as this bottom sole down here. So that worked good. Nashville Flipper says it's real soft but tough at the same time. Hog bristle brush. All right, I'll have to look that up. That's two things. The uh, what did they say earlier? Excuse me. Cherie said to check out the Shout Triple Action. Nashville Flipper says to check out the Hog bristle brush. We're gonna check those things out. See how they work. It's always good to uh, test different things, you know, see if you can't make your life a little bit easier for you. I'm pretty impressed with this Dollar Tree OxyClean so far. It really does do very well. Yeah, pretty good. The little brush. I really like the uh, small fingernail brush, too. If anybody doesn't know where to get these things, you, I think you can get them at Walmart or stuff, but I always go to, like, a beauty store because um, they have the really small ones. Yeah, and they're meant for, like, you know, cleaning them under, under your fingernails and stuff. So, all right, got that part done. Let's scrub up here around the laces a little bit, try to get underneath them. Sorry, guys, once again holding my shoe way down you guys can't see that I'm trying to just scrub on top of these laces and get underneath them a little bit how's everybody doing today though looks like we got a few more people in the chat y'all say hey or is it the same people that left and came back <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you go show some love to the Nashville Flippers, Thrift BCQ, Thrift of Life, Jarhead, the Jarhead Entrepreneur. I appreciate y'all checking out the stream. I really, really, really appreciate it, man. It's been fun getting used to these uh, live streaming and stuff, you know. I'm not the, um, the attention-seeking type, really. I like making videos, you know, I'm not shy to do that. I love editing the videos and stuff and trying to make them fun and informational. But that does not mean that I like attention. <laughs> of course, I want to grow a YouTube channel and that sounds fun, but I'm not trying to be no celebrity. I'm not trying to be famous. Just trying to create more uh, revenue streams, you know, more income streams. 
Am I getting paid from eBay? Not really. I get a few bucks here and there from um, affiliate links when people use my links. But um, no, we're not monetized yet, almost. Uh, I've got over a thousand subscribers, so that helps. Thanks all you guys. Um, but you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours to be monetized on YouTube. And so far, I've got two thousand. So we're halfway there on the watch time. So I appreciate everybody who's here and watching the live stream. You guys are contributing to that. So means a lot, man. Like it, it's just really fun. Um, I've talked about it plenty of times before. Sorry if this I'm beating a dead horse, but yeah, I used to race motocross. Got into making videos from that. And I used to always make videos with my friends just for fun. And I didn't understand anything about YouTube. I didn't understand. I don't even think back then there were really big. Nobody was really making any money on YouTube. Um, that's when like the ads, the uh, Google ads or the. Yeah, that's when they like first started putting ads on their stuff. And, um, you know, went a few years, didn't make videos for a long time and got into eBay and was always watching eBay resellers on YouTube. And I would all the time be sitting there thinking of a video, like creating a video in my head, but I wasn't, I didn't have a channel. I wasn't making any. And then one day I was like, why don't I freaking put the reality? I, I clearly, the creativity is going in my head. Like I want to do this. So let's just start doing it. And you guys, have appreciated it a whole lot and been showing your support and I really appreciate y'all. So thanks for uh, making this worthwhile. Thanks for giving me a reason to keep doing it because honestly I do put in, you know, I guess you could say I could uh, be spending more productive time doing something else than making videos. Since like I said, it's not really making me a whole lot of money right now, but um, I wouldn't care. But maybe, you know, a girlfriend, other people, <laughs> family members or whatnot might start questioning, you know, spending too much time on a hobby. But since you guys show so much support, I get nothing but support from my family members and my girlfriend and the, the people who uh, depend on me show nothing but support for the YouTube channel. And it's because of y'all. It's because of y'all showing up every video, liking my videos, commenting, showing your appreciation. So. Thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all. Really, really, really means a lot. I never thought I would have another YouTube channel and making videos. And if I did, I thought I'd be, you know, doing motocross related stuff. But here we are. <laughs> Nashville Flipper says halfway there. Heck yeah. I appreciate it, man. Jason Marks cleaner as well. Okay, I have to look that up. Just need two drops is what he said. Two drops. All right, these things are cleaning up pretty good. Eh, hit it with this magic eraser in some spots. Huh, I don't want to get in this little crease right here. What's white on my fingers? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I think some of this, uh, it's wearing off of this shoe. Let me wipe this down. I must have something pulling the color off. That's not good. That is not good. Let me get that off of there. Might be that OxyClean or something. Messing with the uh, color on the shoe. That's all right. Could be the magic eraser, though. But how's everybody doing today? Y'all say what's up. We got Mountain Man Link. Pick and roll. Oh, there's Steve. Pick and roll. What's up, brother? What's going on, Steve? Guys, if y'all aren't subscribed to Pick and Roll, you got to go subscribe right now. Stop watching my stream and go hit the subscribe button. And then come back to the stream. What is up, y'all, though? Y'all doing all right? Everybody saying, hey. If y'all saw the thumbnail and the uh, title, we're just I'm just cleaning up some shoes and uh, seeing what's going on with you guys today. 
All right, that's all I'm going to. I'm going to have to come back to these later. I need to uh, clean my magic eraser in the sink, but I'm not going to leave the stream right now. They're looking clean, though. Midsoles are looking good. I got most of the dirt out of the little crease in between the um, top of the shoe and the midsole. Um, most of the white leather is cleaning up. There's a few little spots right here where, you know, the toe folds. A little bit of dirt still stuck in there. But um, I don't know, something something that I done put on this shoe is kind of making this paint wear off because I keep touching it and I get white stuff on me. So I think I'm going to leave it alone for now. I have to come back to that later. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty clean. Let me hit this midsole with the magic eraser. That'll be okay. And after that, really just getting this uh, the dirt out of those creases would be it. And these things would be good to go. Okay, I done lost, <laughs> done lost all moisture in my um, magic eraser. It's all good, though. I appreciate you guys coming and checking out the stream. Y'all make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe and notification bell if you haven't done so already. Pick and roll says laugh out loud. Thanks. No problem, Steve. You been doing all right today, man? Been out thrifting or anything? Get some stuff shipped? Hmm. Well, that was basically it, guys. I got this other sketchers to clean up. But um, like I said, something that I touched it with earlier, it did not like. But either way, nice, uh, yeah, nice shoe haul. If uh, some of you are just joining, just got done cleaning up some shoes that I found at the thrift store today. Picked up six pairs for three dollars a piece. I got two pairs of Nikes, two pairs of uh, Puma golf shoes, uh, one pair of Adidas Boost, Adidas Boost, and oh, a pair of Skechers golf shoes. And uh, yeah, they all look uh, very fair, fair condition. Just needed to clean them up a little bit. So um, just got on here to uh, kill two birds with one stone, catch up with you guys and um, clean up some shoes. So got most of these ready to uh, start taking pictures and list on eBay. But um, yeah, I got that other shoe. I need to, I don't know. I might have to just use the um, rag with some Windex or something because I think either the OxyClean or the Magic Eraser was making some of that paint wear off. So that's not cool. But, um, yep, 208. All right. I think I'll fit and wrap this up, guys. I appreciate everybody who's been, uh, been supporting the channel, been supporting the streams. Hope y'all are having a fantastic day. It's, uh, it's great weather over here. Hope everybody else is having some great and safe weather. Pick and roll says skip stores today. Did some listing, then filmed a what sold. Awesome, man. Have to check that out. Like I said, if you haven't already, go check out Pick and Roll. Subscribe to his channel. What do you spray inside and where did you get it? Um, inside the soles. Uh, hold on. Bye, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this Kiwi. I think I got this at Walmart. Kiwi shoe sneaker deodorizer. You just turn the little thing and... Put it inside the shoe and give it a little push down like that just for like a second. Just a little shoe deodorizer. It uh, kills some of the germs and stuff. Makes them smell better, smell fresh. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart or just go to like a uh, shoe store, like a Hibbit Sports or something like that. Is that what you meant, man? Yes, thanks. You got it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for checking out the stream, Steve. I know you've been uh, saying you've been missing some of the live streams. I know I'm rolling out right now, but man, I really appreciate you stopping by and showing your support. Um, thanks to YouTube, Mountain Man Link, and uh, thanks to everybody joining the streams. Nashville Flippers, like I said in the beginning of the stream, if you haven't checked it out, um, I did an interview or 
Ray from the Nashville Flippers interviewed me this past Sunday. So if you want to go check that out, definitely go check out his channel and check out some of their uh, other content that they do for eBay. And Thrift BC, Thrift Beast CQ, Chris over at Thrift Beast CQ, he did. He also interviewed me. That was probably like two weeks ago. But um, if you want to go check that out, uh, I would surely appreciate it. I know they would greatly appreciate it. Give them some uh, watch time and stuff like that. And I don't know. Get to get to know more about the the flipster flipping profit. <laughs> Chris says, "Bye, man." Pick and roll, bye to all. I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. Um, I feel like there was something else I was gonna say. I needed to let y'all know, but I don't know. Uh, y'all might see these shoes again in a uh, trip to the thrift video coming out probably Saturday. I don't know if. I don't know if I'm going to do that video this week or I have a uh, shoe cleaning video. I know I just cleaned some shoes, but there's also another one. There's a technique of cleaning some white midsoles that um, not too many people talk about, but I think everybody knows. But uh, either way, I'm talking, I'm letting y'all know too, way too much right now. Well, it's just the last few people at the end of the stream. So y'all getting that inside scoop. But um, yeah, who knows? Maybe a trip to the thrift video this weekend or another shoe cleaning video. Either way. Um, I might jump on a live stream. Oh, this is what I've been. This is this is what I knew I needed to talk about. This Thursday, what's this? Tomorrow, six thirty Central Time. I'm doing an interview. Uh, or Paulo from Four Ride Hustler will be interviewing me. Um, I believe. Yeah, we have that set. So yeah, tomorrow, six thirty Central Time, five thirty Eastern. Four Ride Hustler. Go check out Four Eyed Hustler on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and um, show your support. But tomorrow, 6.30 on his channel, he will be interviewing me. How did I forget that? Why I should have said that up top in the beginning of the stream. But all right, I've been dragging this outro out on for too long. I appreciate you all checking out the stream. And until I see you all next time, keep flipping. <laughs> I'll see you.